If you're already using Excel's group by and pivot by functions, which are awesome replacements for pivot tables, you may have come across the need to have multiple columns stacked together or multiple aggregations on the same column. In this video, I'm going to show you all different combinations of those. If you want a copy of this workbook, you can download it. The link is in the description below. So firstly, if you have two consecutive columns, it's not too difficult. So equals group by, you have three mandatory fields, row fields, values, and function. I have another video with the basics on these. And another, this is part of a series of videos with loads more. So in row fields, I'm just gonna select two columns. I'm gonna choose values to be kids. And I'm gonna choose function to be sum. I can double click that or press tab to lock it in. And if they are consecutive, it will just put them like this. Note that also you can do other things. So I can say what I want to do for the headers. I'm gonna to say yes, but show. That's usually the default that I like to do. And then I can say that I want subtotals as well, either at the bottom, this is at the bottom, or this is at the top. I'm going to do at the bottom, which is more traditional. And then I can close my brackets there. And here I have my headers. And I also have the subtotals and the grand total at the bottom. A couple more options as we continue. So a comma, I'm going to do a sort order. Now, if I, you want to sort by the numbers, you need to do two which is the second column, even though it's actually the third column, given that you have two of them here, it uh, needs this one. It sorts in ascending order, but if you want it to sort in descending order, you can do minus two, and then it has a total at the bottom and still sorts it in descending order, which is usually what I do. I usually do descending order for the values. You can do a filter. So I can say, for example, now this one is equal to London going to give me a much smaller list like that or you can do is not equal to London like this and it shows it to you that way now the last input is called field relationship it's a very specific use case only applies where you have more than one field inside your row fields and you have a specific sort order that you want to do so I'm going to show you that so I'm going to cut and paste this out the way and then here I'm going to do equals group by again and I'm going to do my row fields to again be these two we are going to look at non-consecutive ones in a little bit. My values is going to be kids. And then I'm going to do a function to be, let's do a counter. And then I'm going to do field headers, yes, and show, three, comma. And then I'm going to do no totals. This one only actually works for no totals or grand totals as well is okay. And then sort order. So now I can choose how I want to sort it. So since this is my first column, this is my second column, this is my third column, I'm going to do minus three to sort by the values in ascending order. It does switch to include one, two, three, if you are going to use the last input to be table. The default is hierarchy, table is one. Let's see how that looks. There you go. So now it's got kids, four, two, 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 one. Let's change it to a sum to have more distinction between them rather than a count A. So I'm going to write sum in there. There you go. Now it's sorting it from highest to lowest. However, you can also sort by the edu column in this case. If I do minus two, then I can sort. There you go. Now it's first uni, then secondary, primary, and none. Note that it's sorting alphabetically, but in descending order. So Z to A, if I want A to Z, it would be like this. All right, let's look at non-consecutives. For these, there's a couple of ways to do it. My preferred way is to use the HStack formula. So first, let me show you what HStack does. So HStack can take an array, which is just a column or a couple of columns and sort them in whatever way you want. So I can do that one, comma, that one, and then comma these two, and then close them. And then it's going to sort it first by edu, then by city, then kids gender like that. So we're going to use that inside our group by. So equals group by, and then I'm going to do immediately H stack. And I'm going to do first this one, and then this one. And then close my brackets for H stack. Values, I'm going to choose age, and then I'm going to choose average. You don't want to do a sum of age, you want to do an average of age. So close my brackets, and then I get it sorted like this. So that can work for non-consecutives using H stack. You can also do H stack for the values columns. So let me cut and paste this one out the way. Again, you can download this, as I said. So equals group by, 
and then H stack. And then I'm going to do this one. Even if you one thing is consecutive, but just reordered, that still works. Those are my brackets for H stack. And then values, I can actually do another H stack. And I can do just kids and age. And then I'm going to do a function to be an average or a median. Let's do median. And then I'm going to do my field headers to be yes and show. Close my brackets. And now I get it like this. Eddie, then gender, then kids, and then age. And they're all averages. Note that you can do H stack just for the values and not for the other one. If I just wanted to do the Ds there, that's also totally valid. You can do whatever combination of H stack you want. And let me kind of paste that out the way again. Let me do another interesting one, which is what about if we want to do a combination of multiple aggregations for one field? So I want to know the average kids. I want to know the sum of kids. I want to know the count of kids, etc. So I'm going to do here it equals group by, and then I'm going to choose row fields to be city, just city. Values is just going to be kids. But now I can actually H stack my function. It doesn't show in the drop down, but you can type it in. And then I can say, I want to see a sum. Don't open close your brackets like you usually would with a sum. Just press a comma. Then I'm going to choose a average like that. Just press a comma again. Then I'm going to choose account R, etc. Close my brackets for the function. And then I'm going to choose yes and show number three, close my brackets, and it's going to show it to me like this, which I think is pretty cool. Well, what about if you want to do pivot by? So pivot by allows you to do two-dimensional pivot tables. I'm going to show you that as well. So here, if you do equals pivot by, then you have row fields, and now you also have column fields. Values and functions are the same. You have more inputs to do with what you want to do with the total and the sort order for both rows and columns. And then you have filter array relative to is only if you do percent of total. I'm covering that in another video. So row fields, I'm going to choose these two. You can do the same H stack thing as before. Column fields, I'm going to choose this one. And then values, I'm going to choose this one. And then press a comma. And function, I'm going to do a sum. Close my brackets and I get it like this. So it's done it hierarchically and it's done it essentially in this way. And I didn't need H stack because I was doing consecutive, but I can keep going and I can say, I personally don't like using yes and show for pivot by. I don't like the way that they've done it. I'll show you why in a second. And then I'm going to choose options for grand totals and subtotals. I'm going to choose them at the top and you can see what that's like. And then I could choose my sort order. If I had the hierarchy in the columns, then it would be the other way around. But yeah, look, I don't like this. It's done it very efficiently over three rows. And also, yeah, here we have the grand total, then the subtotal, then the subtotal as well. That's to do it from the top. All right. And I think that's essentially how you can do pretty much all the combinations you would want of multiple columns with group by or pivot by. All right. Thanks for watching.